In nature, animals compete and only the strong and lucky ones survive. When animals are in danger, their parents will protect them. With the blessing of their parents, they can grow up safely. Whether it is animals or humans, their parents always pay the most. What would they do if their parents are not around, or are in distress in times of crisis? There was a group of cute snow owl hatchlings all disappeared overnight, so that mother snow owls in anxious search. The ultimate truth shocked everyone. There are many white-furred animals in cold areas at high latitudes and high altitudes, which help them to escape from attacks. There was a species of owl that lived in such areas and the white color, its body was very beautiful. There are more than 130 species of owls, and they are all called owls because their heads are similar to a cat. The most obvious thing about snow owls and other owls is that their feathers are different in color. Other owls have black, brown, brown, and gray-brown feathers, while snow owls are white and look very cute, like an elf. One day in winter, a man found a very beautiful animal while swimming in the river, which was a white owl. However, the owl was actually a snowy owl. The man kept approaching it, but it didn't fly away and was probably injured. The man quickly asked for help from the forestry and grass bureau because the snow owl is a key protected animal, so he wanted to rescue it in time. It probably had food poisoning, so it didn't get scared or fly away. They needed to examine this snow owl in detail to know what happened. Under the care of the relevant animal protection agencies, that snow owl soon recovered its health Considering that wild animals should be returned to nature, they decided to release it. However, in order to check the health condition of the snowy owl, the staff installed a locator on it. In May, the snowy owl came back and started to marry and have babies, which every snowy owl must go through. The snowy owl's favorite food was lemmings, and it occasionally preys on rabbits, gulls and ducks, during his study of that snowy owl, American biologist Holt discovered that snow owls need 500 grams of food per day to survive in the Arctic, and that they are more likely to hunt lemmings. Snowy owl reproduction is highly dependent on the amount of food available, Holt said, adding that snow owls only lay an egg about every two days, and that they may lay up to 12 eggs when food is in good supply. During egg incubation, male snow owls are responsible for hunting and returning lemmings as food. The snow owl that was released at the time was already married. The pair dug a hole on the slope to make a nest and hatched two babies, one named Mike and one named Bob. The mother snow owl kept watch over them and sometimes stood on the hillside looking into the distance, as if waiting for the father snow owl to return. As long as the father came back, they would have food. After a long time, the father did not come back, so the mother decided to venture out to hunt for food. It pecked the two snow owl hatchlings and told them to wait at home. After the mother snow owl left, the two snow owl hatchlings were whimpering in the nest. Mike was stronger and Bob was weaker, and before long they were on their backs in the nest. Not long after the mother left, a ferret emerged from the other side of the hill and saw the two snow owl hatchlings. After watching for a while, it did not see the great snow owl, so it crept forward. Mike sensed the danger, so it rushed to lie down in the grass, not daring to make a sound. Bob did its best to follow Mike, although it was weak. They hid quietly in the grass and thus escaped the ferret's attack. The mother snow owl came back and found them all gone, so it hovered in midair for a long time before finding them in the grass. Luckily, the two snow owl hatchlings were smart enough to escape the attack and survive. It took a few days for the father to return and bring food. They were finally reunited. Despite their weakness, they were able to defend themselves which was astonishing. Something like this also happened in the grasslands of Inner Mongolia. People who graze in the grasslands of Inner Mongolia are no stranger to wolves. They are small, about the size of a mastiff, 
weighing about 20 to 30 kilograms, and look very cunning. They are thin and run fast. A herder's house in Zinger County, Inner Mongolia, was attacked by wolves. At that time, a mother cow and a calf were kept in a spacious cow pen. The calf had just been born for three days and was snuggled up to the cow. The cow was lying on the ground, looking lazy. A skinny wolf sneaked into the pen and walked around them, watching them all the time. As it walked, it looked as if it was looking for an opportunity. The wolf was excited to see the calf and tried to capture it. However, since the large cow was right next to it, it was afraid to go forward. After several attempts, it retreated. It is reasonable to say that cows love their children very much, and once they perceive danger, they will go to protect them. However, the cow had been lying calmly on the ground, not moving. Did it mistake that for a dog? Since the wolf ran into the cattle pen alone and without a companion, it was most likely very hungry and wanted to take the risk to hunt for food, or perhaps there were several wolf cubs waiting for it in the den. The wolf did not dare to attack the calf rashly, but it was unwilling to leave, so it kept looking for opportunities in the cattle pen. At that time, the atmosphere was stagnant, and the wolf was unwilling to leave because there was no food, while the cow was still lying peacefully on the ground. The calf could not resist, and when the wolf tried again in front of it, it slowly stood up and called out. It stepped forward and tried to chase the wolf away. The calf was not afraid of the tiger or the wolf, and it again took a step forward, while the wolf immediately stepped back. At the same time, the cow stood up and went to the calf to protect it. After that, the wolf did not dare to stay and turned around and fled. When their owner saw the scene from the surveillance, he immediately took a flashlight and saw the cow and the calf standing alertly. The calf was safe and was not hurt by the wolf. No matter what animals they were, they were certainly the cutest when they were little. Not only were they cute, but they also had the ability to learn and adapt quickly, which is simply astounding. Humans need to be taken care of after they are born, yet animals are very independent or they are easily outgrown. Humans generally learn to walk when they are one year old, but many herbivorous animals, such as goats and antelopes, learn to walk 30 minutes after birth. Animals on land have to learn to walk while animals in water have to learn to swim as soon as possible. Animals need to be equipped with many skills at birth, so we should not underestimate them. Only if they are smart enough to survive safely in nature, 